Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can update the Steam mods on your DAISY server, probably because you or one of your players has had this sort of error. You are kicked off the game, data verification error, client has a more recent version, please wait until the server updates. So this is a classic, I don't like to use the word beginner's error, but it, this, this does happen. Um, so it's for people who have normally got um, DAISY servers who don't have a way of automatically updating their mods on those servers. Like myself, I don't have a way of updating them. I don't think you can on Nitrado, so you get this error. So what this means is that the mod, in this case the mouse survival mod, has been updated by the mod creator, and your version of DayZ on your computer has downloaded via Steam the latest version, and then when you've gone to log on to this Namask server, this, the server hasn't got the newer version of the Namal Survival mod, so the computer, your your version of Daisy is going, whoa, 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 this server's got an old version. I'm not going to let you on. So, so how do we how do we sort that out? So let's let's shut that down, um, and let us show you how to do it. Now, one of the first things you probably always want to do is you always want to go and have a look at Steam, um, and you want to go and have a look at the page for the mod. So in this case, Namal Survival. Um, and just have a read and see if there's anything that it's telling you to do. Like there might be a special thing you have to do in this particular mod. And most mods are updated in a similar way, but sometimes there'll be something that else that changes. The classic one is that, that tri can trip you up is if the mod creator changes the key. So you remember when we install these mods you have to copy the key across sometimes the mod the, will change the key and you need to update the, the mod sometimes there's change notes here we go so here we got some change notes and it may well say by the way in order to do this make sure you delete the mod completely and start again um, sometimes there's a discussion tab as well and you can look at that sometimes the mod will have their own discord um, channel uh, or discord server so you can look through that all right but if everything kind of seems okay then what we need to do is we need to update, we need to upload the new version of the mod to our server. So what you need to find is your version of Daisy on your computer. So this is Daisy on my computer. Um, on my computer, it's on local disk C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Daisy. And we're looking for the workshop folder. So if you go into the workshop folder, this is where all the mods are. And this will, is where we will have the latest version of the mod we want to update, which is Namalsk Survival. And in fact, if we click into it, um, I'm recording this video on the 31st of the 8th, and the mod was updated <laughs> you know, now. Okay, so it means that when I fired up my computer this morning, it downloaded the mod and, and it's put it there ready to go. If you're having trouble finding where your mods are, if you simply fire up the Daisy launcher, let's just close that. Um, and then so normally it will probably be on that screen if you go to the mod screen and then against any mod it doesn't really matter click on the little down arrow click on the little three dots that say display more options and say open folder in Windows Explorer and it says don't change anything because you'll break daisy so you say I understand bloop, it takes you straight there and remember, in the address bar at the top of the screen, if you just click there, it gives you the absolute address on your on your file. So this is where the new version of the Malsk Survival is. So now we need to get that up onto a server. Now, again, I'm not going to show you how to set up a server and all this sort of stuff. You, you you must have already done that to get to the stage where you've got a mod that doesn't uh, you know isn't working. Um, I use FTP, so FileZilla. So here we are. So we're in my uh, FileZilla. Um, now what we need to do is I've already connected to my uh, Namalsk server, so that's kind of here. There she is. And then we just need to make sure we're in the workshop. Now again, if you're not sure where the workshop is or you're not there, so if you go to the workshop folder, click in the address bar, you can right click the absolute address, you can copy that, put it into the address bar on FileZilla or whatever you're using, paste that in, press enter and there we are. So on the left hand side, this is my local computer, or my lap, well, my laptop kind of here, or well, my Shadow Cloud Gaming PC actually. And on the right, this is my server up in, um, up in uh, Internet Land, up in um, Nitrado, sitting on a Nitrado rack somewhere. So we wanted to update um, the Namal Survival, didn't we? So let's go down to Namal Survival. 
there she is now let's open it up and just have a quick look so there's the keys folder so there's the key so if the key had changed or you seem to be having a trouble with it with it not firing up um, what you probably want to do is go into the key section on your folder and just up like so we've got some rack dot by key some rack dot by key 159 bytes 159 bytes so, so it looks like it hasn't changed um, and then what we could do is if we just click on Daisy standalone there and then right click and go upload okay and it's going to give me a warning I'm going to upload this stuff so if you look at the bottom of the screen you can probably just about see we've got a green progress bar that is now uploading the server that the add-on from my local uh, copy of Daisy up to my server now the mouse survival is an interesting um, one because there's extras okay and what the mouse survival includes is the mission files for the mouse so with certain mods so let's say it's a mod like um, uh, infinite endurance mod uh, something like that that won't have any mission files in if it's something like um, uh, what could it be uh, probably like code lock that won't have any mission files in probably I don't think it will but if you go something like Namal Survival or Essica, um, the ones that are basically about the maps, often they'll have mission files. And in fact, if we open up this regular folder here, you'll see you've got regular dot Namal. If we open it up again, there's DB and there's ENV. So these are all the events that XML and you know, all that sort of stuff. So be aware that what could have happened is the um, mod has been updated but it could be the mission files have been updated as well so let's imagine in this case the mission files have been updated as well we're very lucky in with Namalsk survival in that it includes the mission files in the mod some of them don't some of them will keep the mission files somewhere else um, maybe to save on bandwidth issues or something like that so let's say so we know um, the uh, the Namalsk file needs updating the mission file so what so, so to update that we would go to our MP missions folder on our local server and see there's regular dot Namalsk so I just click on MP missions click on that right click upload and it's going to say you sure you want to go over all of these yes please and that's going to upload it now the other thing to look at in the extras folders is see if there's any other folders as well so now there's also a server dz dot uh, config file as well so you might need to do something with that generally you don't have to the the config file may well set up things like um uh, uh storms um and weather and things like that but normally you don't have to mess around with it once you've uploaded it uploaded it once but it may be worth it. if you're having trouble if things aren't working upload the config file as, as well um, um, so there we go that is how you update your server and then the final thing would be to go to your um, server control panel in this case this is in Nitrado and then we would restart the server and that should now work so when I go back into Daisy when that fires up and I go into that server again um, everything should be updated now that isn't I know we looked at the Namalsk survival mod in that but that is generally how you update mods manually in Daisy to your to your server there are ways of doing it automatically I'll do another video about that when I learn how to do it <laughs> but for now that should keep you going right if you found the video useful hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe if you've got any other questions or comments please put them in the, the bits below the description and I will see you again soon